Welcome to my showroom. We're in the middle of Times Square right now, the digital sign capital of the world. And D3's been responsible for about 70% of the LED displays here in Times Square since 2006. Behind me, ABC Studios actually incorporates 3,200 LED modules that are about three and a quarter inches wide by 40 inches high. We utilize those to make those nice radiuses and ribbons that you see behind us. So what we have here is one of our um, outdoor LED modules and as you can see here this is exactly the form that it would be installed in the sign in Times Square. There's no lens on it, all of the LEDs are, are exposed and you can see the louver here. Uh, on the back side you can see there's a gasket that runs all the way around the perimeter of the module. There's also a drip shield and a cover here so any water that does make it you know past the module itself you know will just shut off the back um, and won't get into any of the electronics on the inside. LED displays are the resolution of them is all based on the density of the, the specific diodes. When you get into a unit like this right here, where you've got these little white squares, that's called SMD, or surface mount display. And actually here you can see the red, green, and blue LEDs. Here that red, green, and blue are actually uh, encased within that small little dot. So what we're looking at here is the back of the LED display. And you can see this is how you can service the modules from the rear. There's four quarter turn latches on the back of the modules to allow the service providers to unlatch the module, push it through the front and actually bring it inside the display here. Behind me are two of my favorites. Right over here is the Forever 21 LED Display Spectacular. It is the most interactive display in Times Square. It's a high def camera that points down into the crowd here on the pedestrian plaza, allows you to interact with uh, the models and what's going on with the screen. You also notice that there's a giant 21 foot high 21. What's interesting about that is it's kind of a, a new breed of what I consider hybrid displays in Times Square. It has some dimensionality with the 21 sticking out about two feet. It's a coarser resolution than the main screen and all the content flows seamlessly through one to the next. What you have behind me is the largest single surface LED display in Times Square. It's also one of the most technologically advanced. The physical size is about 50 by 100. It's about 82,000 pounds. It has 3,200 LED modules that are about 15 inches square. Now, the technology behind this, as I was saying, is some of the most advanced we've ever seen. This is the control room of uh, the TSQ digital display, which we just viewed from the street. What's exciting about this control room, it's probably the most advanced that's in Times Square today. This has been set up as, as essentially a control room, so with live events, you can do switching and different things up here. This is our AEP processor. This takes in a DVI feed, or takes in all the content. And then that converts it to gigabit ethernet and goes out to the display. 